telling people about Jesus can make us feel very nervous and very uncomfortable. We worry about how people will judge us. We sometimes worry about whether our, our words or our actions will point people away from the truth rather than pointing them towards Jesus, which is a result that we would hope for. Um, and we can hold it back. We can worry that we'll offend people. Um, perhaps people will um, make statements like, oh, your, your religion's a personal thing. Don't go forcing it on me. You know, it's fine. Do what you want to do in, you know, in, in your own quiet of, of your own home. Just keep your religion to yourself. Don't force it in my face. And you hear these sorts of phrases. But if you had free access to a chocolate factory with the best sweets in the world and the best candy and you could just go in and eat all you want, you want to tell people because it's an amazing thing to have. And spiritually, we have something even better than that. We have a relationship with the living God, one of the best things a human being can ever know or experience. We have his Holy Spirit living in us and, and just filling us with peace and joy and hope and comfort and testifying with our spirits on the deepest level that we are children of God. Surely we'd want to tell people about that. But the problem is when we feel afraid and when we feel awkward and when we feel uncomfortable, that comes out in our words. It comes out in the way we behave and we become kind of apologetic and, and we sort of um and err and, and we don't feel confident but actually we can be confident. We have an amazing God, we have an amazing saviour, we have an amazing truth to share with people and when we share it, we're doing it out of love because we want to bring good into their life, we want to steer them towards truth and righteousness and, and reveal the fact they have purpose and, and, and a plan in life. Um, so the idea I would say is that sharing our faith shouldn't be a taboo. Don't accept these lines where people say, oh, your, your religion is just a personal thing that you should do on your own, keep it to yourself. That was never what Jesus was about. That was never what the early church was about or those apostles were about. They were about speaking the truth. They were about an invitation, inviting people into a relationship with God. That's what the Great Commission is. When we hear Christians talking about the Great Commission, what they mean is before Jesus ascended to heaven to go to be with his father after his death and resurrection, he commissioned his disciples. He gave them a great task, a great commission. He said, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So we have this challenge to go and share our faith but there are different creative ways we need to do it and it's not going to be a mole because we're speaking to people with all sorts of different background understandings different needs coming from different cultures with different preconceptions and objections and questions we need to be flexible we need to be dynamic we need to work with um the people that, that we're sharing with and, and meet them in their situations and use their language um, so I would say it, it's going to be different from person to person what we do how we take questions some people it's just simply offering to pray with them and say hey like God loves you is there anything I can pray for um, other people are speaking boldly and sharing truth with them about how God cares for them God loves them God has a plan for them um, and it'll vary from person to person but if you don't feel passionate about sharing your faith and you don't feel excited about it, my challenge for you is actually don't do it because there's something more deeply wrong. We've got a problem more deeply if we're not feeling excited and stirred up and passionate about sharing our faith. What's the problem? It's that we don't have that like deep, passionate, excited relationship with Jesus because when we get that, we won't be able to help going and telling people when we fall deeply, truly, madly in love with Jesus, nothing will stop us sharing him with people because it's one of the best things you can have. It's what Jesus is the best person you can know. He's the best person to have in your life. And when you know him and have him in your life, you're going to want to tell people about him. And if you don't have that, then I think that's getting the, the first thing in its place is to just go close your door and meet with God. Invite him into your space. Invite him into your life. Invite him into to, to be present with you. Open your heart up to him and ask him as, as a loving friend to fill you with the Holy Spirit and you'll know and you'll want to share it with people. So that's my encouragement. If you're not feeling excited, you're not feeling passionate, then get passionate. Do that in relationship with him. Get to know him more deeply. Get to know his heart. Tune in with him uh, because God wants to speak to people around us. He wants to use us. And when I say us, I mean people who know him. He wants to use us to reach other people so that other people will know him too. 
and it's not about converting people or evangelizing people or getting people to agree with us even. It's about pointing people towards a living relationship with a living God who can transform and save and regenerate and empower and fill us with life and purpose and hope and that's not a bad thing. So don't let anyone make you feel bad for sharing your faith and telling people. Obviously, it's always going to be a reflective process. We always want to listen to what people are saying. We want to learn. We don't want to be inappropriate or insensitive. We don't want to force people um, to hear or force things in people's faces that they're not ready to hear. So there's definitely a, a gentleness and a humility and a respect that comes with it. But don't be silenced and don't feel bad for giving it a go. Just give it a go. Be confident and then it'll, if, if you feel confident in your heart, you feel confident in your mind, it'll come out in your words and people will be drawn and people will want to know what it is that, that you experience and what it is that you have. So uh, my prayer for you guys um, is for having opportunities that God will find ways to reach people through you. And to be honest, if you're not in that place yet, don't feel bad. Just take time, get to know him, fall in love with Jesus, learn to adore him, learn to meet with him in worship, learn to meet with him in the quiet place. And then nothing will stop you being noisy when you get out there. Okay, God bless you. I'm going to go now. Have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.